So a week has passed and I'm still working on the men's rally. I have the spray, the, the um, frame sprayed and you can see here that I left I taped off the rally logo and I'm gonna have to um, hand paint that in, clean it up. So I wanted to keep the logos. It's on both sides of course. Let's put it around this way. I can't turn the table by the bench that way. See, can you see that there? Not really. It's on this side as well there. See? I taped it off and now I have to decide how I'm going to, like I taped it right around the whole bar here and now I have to decide what to do. I'm gonna to touch that up right um, last night I was doing the, um, the mud guard on one of the bikes just to test it out this is the uh, men's one which is in pretty good shape I might just touch it up this one I wipe with the paint you know wipe the rag over it so and see yesterday I was doing this one but I got my S all wrong this is the ladies one so you know I'm still working on that I got to touch this up a bit and make this look more like the um, same color but if you look at the two they're quite close so I'm at that I uh, undercoated put J and B weld on the guards and the frames and then sanded and then w did wet and dry sanding and then undercoated it again so there's that and you know my my main problem is I uh, start to rush things and uh, sometimes you know it's not a good idea when in fact I should take my time uh, I have no idea why that's there you know but uh, I'm trying to slow it down and do it properly instead of rushing things all the time uh, uh, you know I have some patience but you know other people have like way more patience than me and can spend all year at it whereas I want it done in a week or two so I hope to um, carry on doing this my undercoating and uh, glitterizing is working really well I have a little scuff marks on the frame and then the back guard needs taping off up here and this is white down here actually on the guards so I have to still paint the white part of the rally guard the back fender and then the reflector light goes here the color of the paint is on a video uh, vintage rally green paint mix so I have a video out that shows you how I mix the green paint to get the um, old vintage green rally look I had uh, to test it and work that out and so you can go to my other video and look at the green mix to find out how I mix the paints and you know mix your own your own version of or color of what you think your bike should look like you can go a little darker or a little lighter and you can just touch it on a part of the rally and see if you like it um, I'm also um, testing wiping the green the tester green on parts and leaving them vintage looking like with a little bit of rust in that and I'm beginning to like that idea of uh, not uh, sanding and painting the whole bike but leaving the uh, the vintage kind of look and just cleaning it up by uh, smearing a light film of paint over it which I'm going to try on a blue rally later on so that's one of my new concepts to keep a more vintage look and I may do it on the other women's rally bike so I have some polishing to do on some parts still and I'm also going to use the best parts on the men's rally at this stage because it's going to be the bike I use so I think I'll give it the extra go the extra yard uh, the handlebars didn't work so gonna have to look for handlebars I'm gonna put a woman's handlebar on there for the time being which is a little bit different it comes in a little bit whereas the men's is a little bit long and comes out a little bit so and I'll look for a new one of those or a better quality one that's less rust because my one was too pitted I'm just gonna keep carrying on and 
you know, maybe in December or January we'll be getting close to finished. I have no idea when I'm going to finish this, but I'm going to keep at it. Yeah, the forks had a little logo in here, and I think they had a line down in here, which I, ha I haven't done yet. I'm not too sure how to do it, whether I can get a stencil or what. But the actual painting itself has turned out absolutely gorgeous. I'm very pleased with that. It looks authentic as from my point of view. Everybody's a little different. But, um, you know, I can actually nearly put that back in the frame if I wanted to. We'll see. I haven't done anything about the lock yet, though. I have the bearings to do in the frame and the bearings in the wheels to clean up, if need be. I'll most likely work on the the whole concept of these these uh, low these um the graphics and try to improve them. I have pins up here, you know, the uh, drawing pins. Here they are, like they're ink drawing pins, which I've used before. And I can't see, here's one. Yeah, I use these ink drawing pins for it. And I may try and make the lines in the, the graphics on the actual frame with those. They're very light and they're very straight and I can't do that brush pull that most of these guys do. This. So I might try a pen and a ruler or something. I'll uh, see how I do that. So I'm going to work on the uh, graphics a little bit this week and some other, other cleaning and look at the bearings and the wheels if I have to. So that's where I'm heading this week, this second week. I think that's it for now. So let's get back to uh, the uh, restoration. <laughs>